these are the books that I am reading this week. You see, readers are leaders and leaders are readers. I have so many fans asking me how do I read so much and how to improve my reading speed. You see, one of the things I did early on in my career at a very young age, I actually took a speed reading course and it has helped me tremendously. Now it's very interesting because I made a number of videos on this. You can see sometimes the ignorance of social media. I have actually, I saw comments from some, some people. They say, oh, Dan, I thought you said, you know, don't read books. And then they say, how come you're now talking about reading books? They actually have not watched my videos. The thumbnail said, don't read books. But in the video itself, I talked about I use books. I don't just read books. But they haven't even watched the video, right? That's how ignorant most people are. Anyway, side story. Tip number one, when you're reading a lot of books, you don't just want to read books. If you're reading nonfiction, you want to use books. Meaning you're not trying to memorize everything that the author is talking about. One of the very first tips and one of the most important tips I could give you when it comes to books is you want to use books because knowledge is one thing what we want to do is take what's in here understand it and then be able to implement and get a result it's a very it's not a contest of memorization it's a contest for execution implementation so every time i read a book my goal is to want to get three ideas out of each book that I could implement right away that's it I'm not trying to implement everything the author talks about. I'm asking, I'm looking for just three things that I could get out of it. That is it. I want to implement, I want to see how it works for me personally and what I could learn from that. So number one, don't read books, use books. Number two, one of the strategies in the speed reading course that I learned from is when you are reading, use your finger. Use your finger to trace. So instead of reading this way, Right? When your eyeballs, when you use your finger, you're actually training your eyeballs to be able to read faster. So when I read, I'll, do, I'll look something like this. Right? Then I flip. That's kind of the reading speed. This is how I can go through. If I'm very, very, very busy, I would do one book a week. Right? A few months ago, I was very busy. I didn't have time to read now. It's, I have more breathing room, so now I can go through two, three, four books uh, a week. Sometimes five, six books a week if I feel like it. If I have one full day, I could go through this in a day. Probably three, four books in a day, right? Extract two, three ideas. That's like tip number two. So use your finger to trace. The third thing you could do, which is a pretty neat trick, that if the book is relatively new, unlike like this book, this book is, you know, about Disney, about Walt Disney, and this would be an older book, so it doesn't have aud Audible. But for newer books that has Audible, what I would recommend is a cool little trick that you get the physical version of it, as well as the Audible version of it. Then when you're reading the book, you actually play the Audible, the audio book at 1.25 or 1.5 speed. So you're playing it, and you're also reading at the same time. What it does is it helps with your retention. At the same time, you're learning how to read faster because you're speeding up with the Audible, right? And you will learn a lot more. You will actually learn a lot more. So that's a very nice little trick that you could do to be able to improve your reading speed. And the last tip I have for you is the more you read, the faster you read. Because let's say if this is the first time you are reading a marketing book, it would feel overwhelmed. You're not so sure. By the time you're like myself, I've read hundreds and hundreds of marketing books and, and, and advertising books, you will see a lot of patterns that are very similar. So then in my mind, I could already skip those things. I already know it. So I'm looking for things that I might not know that I might overlook so that I'll be able to go through, let's say a book, I go through a table of content. Yep, I already know that. I heard of that before. Don't need it, don't need it. I'm already doing it, don't need it. So as I'm going through it, then I'll be able to see, oh, here's a chapter that I never thought of something that I could use before, so here's something I could take out of it and I could use it. I sometimes don't even read through the entire book. If when I get to chapter, let's say chapter five, I already have my three ideas, what I would do is I would close the book, I would go implement the book and put it away. Sometimes I would come back to revisit the book, this is why I reread books in a couple months. Sometimes I don't even come back and revisit the book 
I've implemented those three ideas, now I'm reading something else. But you see patterns when you read enough. So it is a habit. It's no good to just read one book and then you stop, or, or here's a great book and then you stop. It's like, I get the questions all the time, where, oh, what book should I read? All of them! Because what if you're looking for, oh, that magical one book that will change your life. No, read, read my book, read everybody else's books. Learn from it. Have the habit of reading. The books that you don't read can help you. Period. Right? And if someone spent their lifetime, spending years, putting everything they know, decades of knowledge, into a few hundred pages, and you can get it for 10, 20 bucks, I mean, it is a bargain. It is a bargain, right? And nowadays, people don't read anymore. People are even too lazy to watch a YouTube video. They just watch the thumbnail, they click, they see the thumbnail, and they thought they watched the video. Unfortunately, that's where we're at in terms of our society. However, if you do read, if you just read a book, a book a month, 12 books a year, it will give you a huge, huge advantage, unfair advantage over everybody else. So comment below if this makes sense. Tell me what are some of the books you're gonna read and use, right? And what are some of the new habits you are going to develop when it comes to reading.